What is forbidden fruit? How do I make it? What do I do with it? I'm going to start this story with the Savoy Cocktail Book, which is an amazing old uh, pre-prohibition cocktail book by Harry Craddock from the Savoy Hotel in London. Now, the amazing thing about this book, it's got just a ton of cocktails in it. These weirdo, old-timey uh, illustrations. It'll, the recipes will have things just in proportions sometimes. One-sixth orange juice, one-sixth lemon juice. It doesn't like tell you an amount to make it, which, which can... I mean, it takes a little math to figure out how big your drink's going to be and whatnot. The other thing is, it, it's an old book, and it has a lot of old recipe, uh, a lot of old ingredients that you can't get anymore, or you couldn't get uh, for a long time, uh, including forbidden fruit liqueur, which shows up here in the Tantalus cocktail. Tantalus. Now, one great thing uh, I discovered when I was first getting into cocktails was this place, uh, Savoy Stomp. It's a website online a fellow named Eric El Elistad uh, created where he went through the entire book and made every cocktail in the book. Uh, so if you have the book and you find something that looks good but you're like one-sixth lemon juice of a whatever, you can go to his website, see what he did, and you know try the cocktail yourself. Now he started doing this in 2007 and especially back then, there were a number of ingredients you couldn't get. And if you wanted to make certain things like the Tantalus cocktail, Tantalus, you needed forbidden fruit liqueur. And so he had to make it himself. Uh, the upshot of that is that there's recipes on his website for odd ingredients that at the time you couldn't get, like Swedish punch, uh, forbidden fruit liqueur. And so I went ahead and roughly followed his uh, recipe. Now, he, I don't think, had uh, the original to go by, and I certainly don't. And I am not making any claims that this forbidden fruit liqueur is anything like the original or anything at all. Now, back in the day, this uh, forbidden fruit totally passed me by. Uh, but I saw over on Reddit, on Artiki, that... Uh, from user Yu Zikaran that uh, someone has made a forbidden fruit liqueur uh, in Colorado, I think they said. Uh, it's Lee Spirits. Uh, they use white grapefruit in their uh, forbidden fruit. Uh, I'm going to use a pomelo. Uh, they apparently have uh, one of the original bottles of forbidden fruit liqueur, so I'm sure theirs tastes more like the original, but mine is fun and I made it myself at my house and that's what I like to do. So for mine I found a pomelo at the store. This is actually the sour variety with the pink flesh. Uh, I found a blood orange and a Seville orange for a little extra bitterness just for fun. Uh, I don't think there's any rules about this especially since I don't know what it's supposed to taste like and uh, Eric Elstead put a blood orange in his and I like Seville oranges. They're fun. So that's what I did. Now just peel this up, stick it in a jar, and uh, cover it with vodka and brandy. So it, looks, it seems like I need a new uh, peeler. My peeler is not sharp enough. It's not making great peels here, but uh, you know, it gets the job done. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't, I'm not making a ton of this because I don't know, you know, I, I don't know how this is going to come out or if I'm going to have a lot of use for this, but we're going to give it a whirl. So I did 200 milliliters of cognac, and I did 300 milliliters of vodka. Uh, that's the proportions uh, Eric Elstead is using. So I went with that. He's using a, he's making a bigger batch than me, but like I said, I don't need a ton of this. I also threw in a star anise, a tonka bean instead of vanilla, and some carbon pods. I don't think there's any rules on what you want to do. Just do what you like. By the way, this is what this pomelo looks like on the inside. A, ton, a huge rind, real spongy. And this one is the orange sour variety, like I mentioned before. It doesn't didn't have a 
ton of flavor. But, you know, pretty good. The juice was pretty good. So I let this uh, peels sit for two weeks, which might have been a little too long. It came out a little more bitter than maybe I would have liked. Uh, maybe next time, 10 days, if you're doing it, you might check it as you go. Strain this through my steeping bag, um, and then it's time to add the honey. I used orange blossom, no, carrot flower honey, uh, local stuff that I got at the grocery. Uh, I started with four ounces. Uh, the recipe called for half a pound, which I thought was a weird measurement. But yeah, uh, raw carrot flower honey. Uh, started with four ounces, decided that wasn't quite sweet enough, and then put another ounce in. Although now, f further retrospect, it's not quite sweet enough, so I maybe should have done uh, six ounces. But live and learn. So went ahead and uh, whipped up a Tantalus cocktail. Tantalus. Uh, this came out pretty good, although it was too tart with the proportions in the Savoy cocktail book, which were equal parts brandy, lemon, and forbidden fruit. So I think next time I'll back off the lemon and maybe add a little sugar, and that should uh, make that a little more to my tastes. But uh, there are other things we can do with it. My wife and I cooked up a Division Bell variation. We decided on uh, Mezcal, Forbidden Fruit, uh, Maraschino, and Aperol. And uh, that came out real nice. Uh, probably try that again sometime. Over there on Artiki, they're talking about uh, using it instead of grapefruit juice. If you can't get a grapefruit or you don't want to keep grapefruits around or grapefruits, you know, is a problem. You could use this instead in your navy grog or whatever. Now this uh, forbidden fruit liqueur did throw off some sediment, which uh, makes, I comically tried to siphon off the top with sort of mixed results. I did clear it up some, but um, you know I didn't do a great job. But you might find that you you get some sediment, which you know you can get rid of how you however you feel. Okay. Just a little wrap up to this video, which is getting a little long. Thank you for watching uh, to the end. If you like this video, please subscribe. It uh, will help me out. Uh, also, I know that I pronounced Tantalus incorrectly throughout this video. It's fine. You can go look it up. Apparently he's a Greek myth or something. And lastly, I'm getting very excited about Forbidden Fruit Liqueur. I think it's getting better as the days go by as it sits in the bottle. Uh, we made a cloister, gin, and Forbidden Fruit, and yellow chartreuse, yum! Also, I made brown derby, bourbon, uh, Forbidden Fruit, I put a little bitters in, yeah, really good. Uh, I'm convinced a Navy Grog would be good, and I'm kind of thinking maybe like a penicillin kind of thing might be even good. I'm getting excited. I might have to make it again for just to have more, and I think you should definitely try it out. Okay, uh, that's it till next time. Bye!